Hey, good evening, everybody. Nobody Grotesque here, and we are tackling the DLC for Zombie Army 4. And there's a lot of DLC, so uh, let's just hop straight into it. Blood Count is the next one. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Um, I, I guess that's a vampire, bat, werewolf thing. Not werewolf, but I guess that's a bat. <laughs> mm -hmm. The secret Nazi church in Bavaria contained occult texts that described Plan Z as one step of a bigger and much older plan. Our analysts have traced this text back to an ancient castle in Transylvania. And its steward, a man named Baron Umbra. If we're going to learn what the Nazi cult has planned, we will learn it there. Head for the castle and get to the bottom of this. Transylvania. So I guess there are vampires in here. Nice. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's such an easy... Start. There you go. That wasn't smart at all. <laughs> Everybody knows that you're here. I don't know if dude was trying to be secret or not, but yeah. All right, proceed on foot. Castle's in sight. Only just made it. Had a running with some weird ass looking creepers. Bastards ran the damn truck up the road. Well, then you'll have to proceed on foot. Find your way up to the castle and keep me updated. Yeah, I was wondering if they're gonna do that. Where are they just gonna be creepers with different models? What's the deal with these trucks? Looks like they were headed to the castle, loaded up with machine parts. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, machine parts? That reminds me of something. Hold on, I need to investigate. But yeah, I hope you know everyone had a good day today. It's a Friday before the 4th of July. And uh, yeah, well, some people had off work today. Some people didn't. But I hope everyone had a good day anyway. I see you, dude. You know, these snipers would be pretty, you know, sneaky if they didn't laugh. Once the crisis began, it was forgotten. But this, it matches the message and timeline exactly. I think whatever they were building is inside of the castle. Well, they sure as hell didn't finish it. This convoy is now long. I'll see what else I can learn. And a line. Looks like we're going off road. There are several paths up the mountainside. <laughs> if you head along the river, you should find a way up. Really? 
river. Why you always making me go down rivers? Reliving my trauma. That shit ain't healthy. <laughs> But yeah, uh, today was a okay day. It was just uh, I don't know. I felt I felt off today for the most part. Like everything felt like my body felt heavy. Like I think uh, I just need just kind of uh, possibly dehydrated. Not like severely dehydrated. I mean, I drink I drink my water, but just I don't drink nearly enough. I don't know how people do that. Like, <laughs> like I love going to on Reddit and go to going to Hydro Homies subreddit, and man, I'm <laughs> I wish I could be like them. I really do. <laughs> Should I be concerned with all these grenades just kind of casually laying around? <laughs> I mean, I drink like a liter, a liter and a half a day, uh, which I know for my body weight, it's not nearly enough. Uh, I just be so exhausted, so uh, so I usually drink a lot of caffeine, which inadvertently I know makes me uh, makes me more, you know, dehydrated. So I, I try to balance it, but you know, uh, it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, my uh, my dog, uh, my dog is old. You know, he's a. Uh, my dog was born. I got a little uh, chia palm. You know, half chihuahua, half pomeranian. And he was born like a day before Obama was inaugurated. So that's how we that's how we kind of keep up with his age. He went through three president presidential terms. So uh, today, uh, while we were outside. You know, his, uh, it's like his back legs gave out on him. <laughs> and, uh, he fell, you know, and he hit, he hit his head really hard on the, on the ground. And, uh, he started, uh, he was like dazed and confused. So, I, uh, you know, I picked, I rushed over. Because in my mind, I'm thinking this is it. You know, he, he's, you know, he's old, you know, this, this is it. But, you know, he, uh, managed to, uh, bounce. Uh, you know, I picked him up, but you know, I was holding him and cradling him because like I said, I'm thinking this is it I'm thinking this is this is this dude's last moment. So, you know, he's he's you know, he's he's old He was he was he was gonna, you know He was about to die but uh, You know, thankfully, you know, he, he was just kind of like I said dazed And so he bounced back like a few minutes later. Ooh, but man, I was uh, I was <laughs> I was prepared for worst case scenario here. But nah, he, he's, he's fine now. He's just like I said, he's, he's old. Uh, he, he doesn't do much at this point. You know, he just kind of chills in, the, in, the, uh, in his bed. Occasionally he'll come out and search the uh, search the uh, the kitchen see if he can find a crumb or something on the floor but now he definitely he doesn't even like going for walks anymore he'll he'll oh this dude snuck up behind me wow like he'll he'll uh he'll go outside and then he'll uh do his business and then he'll if I, if I have him on leash uh, he'll he'll just uh, look at me like, uh, do you expect me to move somewhere? <laughs> yeah, not a fan of walks. Not a fan of walks. But yeah, like I said, you know that that was the uh, <laughs> that was the. Uh, the shock of my day. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, I've played this game a lot, and I've never stomped the enemy to death like that. Like, that was... Uh, that was different. <laughs> Go. Made it to the ambush. So yeah, no, if you're if you're if you're watching this, you know I want you to go give your dog, cat, hamster, gerbil, hedgehog, bird, whatever. Just go just go give him a big hug. Cause I I thought I thought uh I thought mine was uh mine was done for today. <laughs> These ones went up towards the castle, transporting science teachers, lab equipment, that kind of thing. Okay, the game never just kind of gives me <laughs> machine guns, like what? <laughs> I mean, heavy, whatever. Game doesn't. Oh, never mind. I don't have a take now. <laughs> I'll make this look easy. Thing was probably confused. Like, hold on. Why, why are you just running up to me? We tried, huh? I'm gonna say, oh well, at least we tried. You want some? Come get it, you dead bastard! Did, my, did, did dude really say, at least we tried? <laughs> I mean, they're calling these creepers. They're not. They're not saying like, "Oh, look, the vampires" or anything like that. So you know, that sucks. But I get it. Wasn't too too bad. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> Alright, this is hop straight into the next chapter. What exactly do you know about or his I, I still think Bruno is gonna you know do something do something evil. Like, you know, I'm usually in games whenever you got like a companion or, or anything like that. It, you know, they always betray you in some some form or another. Bizarre. 
I thought you'd be used to bizarre. This place is big, huh? You never told me there was a whole town. The town grew up around the castle over the years, but the citizens rarely ventured beyond its walls, so my intel is The surrounding villages refused to come near it, believing it was cursed. They told stories of people who approached the citadel, disappearing. Blood fountain? Are there three of them? Oh. All right, cool. I mean, I'm okay with that. down all right. All right, so the whole level is gonna be blood fountains oh No, go somewhere. Go somewhere. Don't touch me, freak. <laughs> Come on, look up. Look up. Look up. Hey, not get that shit on. here. Man, I, I was so close to the blood fountain and I just, I just dipped out because I didn't, <laughs> there was just too much stuff going on. <laughs> Firing a single shot. Uh, okay, see, like I hear, I, I, I heard a laugh. Sniper. Okay. Where? Blood fountain might be uh, might be pretty tough. Oh, this. Ah. Fire, like where where's fire coming from? Almost there. Man, that 
that was a uh, that was a little confusing. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Uh, got it's just a lot going on here. Crap. But I'm, I'm doing good. I'm not panicking though. This is a, whew, it's a lot for uh for one to one ratio. I don't even know if that's the proper way to say that, but that's what I'm just going to say. <laughs> Out of here. Let's do this. I'm not. I'm not even going to attempt the challenge. Oh wait. Uh, hold on. I got to pause. All right. Sorry about that. Back again. Let's let's get this blood fountain. <laughs> Where are they coming from? There is... Where is he at? Yeah, sorry about that. I'm just, uh, I'm out of my groove right now. I was, you know, got, got parents and stuff to take care of. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. thing is I have no idea where that seal is <laughs> let's see I'm just gonna go in a logical way ah, 
I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Front entrance is blocked up. We ain't getting in that way. A citadel with this many secrets. Must I'll kill the butcher. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I didn't even. I, I looked down when. Uh, I looked down when that cutscene was playing that that introduced the butcher, and uh, when I looked up, I it I thought I saw something. <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad I. Uh, I'm glad to, it told it told me what I had to do. <sighs> Yeah, understandable. If not, that wasn't a good round. That wasn't a good round. Alright, I'm going to uh, go check on the kids and everything like that. Uh, short break. And I'll be back in a minute to finish up this chapter. I mean, this uh, mission. Alright, bye. <clears throat> Excuse me.